I think I trust a team like the Philadelphia 76ers a little bit more. I think the 76ers are a great defensive team. They are currently top five in the NBA in defense. Uh, They are top 10 in offensive rating. They have Joel Embiid, who is arguably the most dominant shot creator for himself in the NBA. He's averaging 33 points a game. He's been critical for them defensively in the minutes where he's played defensively. They're just phenomenal. Uh, 20 points per game from Tyrese Maxey. And then on top of it, you have James Harden being able to sink back just a little amount and not be so relied upon in the playoffs, which I think is going to be absolutely enormous for him in terms of his efficiency, in terms of his overall uh, just competence in the playoffs. They're going to have to prove that they can defend on the perimeter as much as anything. Guys like Tyrese Maxey coming off the bench, James Harden doesn't have a great defensive track record in the playoffs. They're going to have to prove that they can make it work in ball screens, that ball screen defense isn't just going to be a sieve for them. But man, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I love this team. I think that I think everyone is kind of sleeping on them a little bit. Yeah, probably me too. And they obviously went on a run uh, lately here. And, and I think Harden has had an underrated season. I know he wasn't too happy about not making the All Star game. But defensively, they can be elite. Their best five, I think, has pretty good balance, better than it did last year. You put Maxi in there with Harden and Bede. I like when Harris can be your fourth guy rather than be your second or third. You feel a lot better about that. And then PJ Tucker. The only thing I'll say is Tucker's probably, and I say this every year, and I've said this for the last three years, so maybe I should just get over it, but it feels like he's had to play a lot. Like he has played a lot of minutes this year. If he has another postseason run in them, then because I think he's going to be key because he unlocks a lot of the stuff you're talking about you go back to a couple of years to the title. He was actually defending guards. He was out on the perimeter. So does he have that in him at 37 years old? I'm not sure. But that that, that will be a big key for him uh, and for the Sixers defensively. Think about it, mute. I did. Uh, yes. He has been, <laughs> PJ Tucker's been a total zero offensively for them. This yes, season, absolutely. Which is the problem. And... If they can get enough from him defensively to keep him on the court in terms of being like that mismatch guy that like he's stopping the opposing star player every night, maybe they can get enough. I'm, uh, you know, it, it's tough because I liked what Tobias Harris did in the playoffs last year, kind of sneakily. Mm-hmm. Like I thought he got better defensively, uh, but you can't have him be the guy that's the stopper, right? You can't have him be the main guy. I thought he did a good job on uh, Pascal Siakam last year but like you can't have him be the main stopper right i I just don't think that works for him yeah and as we've seen and we've seen this over the years and i see someone comment in in the stream that they've got a lot to prove and i think that that's also part of it and i there was a comment that Embiid made recently where he's like i just want to get through the postseason healthy and not have one of these crazy injuries and he gets these random illnesses and gets hit in the face and all this kind of stuff so Again, if we're talking about reasons why they can't win it or reasons why teams are sleeping on them, it's because they haven't been able to it's because they haven't been able to prove it. They haven't even got out of the second round. And if you look at the way the standings are matching up right now, the Sixers would be on a collision course with the Bucks in the second round. This has been a series that everyone has kind of looked at and thought maybe they would match up in the postseason at some point. They haven't yet though. But I would say the Sixers, I think would like the matchup against the Bucs. I think that they would like the Embiid stuff. I know the Bucs are, are an elite defensive team, but if you got Milwaukee and Philadelphia in the second round, how are you feeling about that? Because I do think historically the Sixers-Celtics matchup is is maybe one that concerns them a little bit more than Milwaukee. What do I think of Milwaukee? I kind of think that as long as P.J. Tucker can at least manage tough physical minutes on Giannis. Yeah, I yeah. I think that they have the kind of team that is tougher for Milwaukee to deal with because Joel Embiid is that backline center is huge. Like having Joel being able to, that's how you have to guard Giannis. You have to have the guy who can body up with him just right at the start. And then you have to have the backline secondary defensive player who can protect the rim and make it a one-on-two scenario. And Giannis is going to win that one-on-two a good amount of the time right? Because that's who he is. But 
Yeah, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I have Philly and Milwaukee neck and neck. 